I've seen it. Yeah. It's I good. liked Gaslight. I love the relationship, um, you know, between Catwoman, Bruce Wayne. I love the animation style, the old timey sort of stuff. So I did like that one. I know nobody liked Ninja. I kind of did. And um, let's see. There's one movie they did. It's a little bit more rudimentary, the animation, but it's where um, it's about Freeze. I just, I forgot the movie. 3000 or something? I don't know. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. I honestly I, I like the Chris when Christian Bale was Oh you meant live action. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no no I, I, I included I included the cartoons. That's okay. that that was kinda what I was Okay, Christian thinking. Bale, I just, come on. He's like the best Batman to date, isn't he? I I think so. I think he is, honestly. I mean yeah, I, know I, they're, I think so. I mean, in the new Thor, Love and um, Thunder, he did an amazing job. I mean, I don't think that was like CGI. That was pure acting, pure emotion. I mean, you felt everything through his lips. Yep. You definitely did feel everything through that. And I know in that Thor and Love and Thunder, my gosh, like, Oh, Natalie the... Portman, she looked so amazing, right? Wow. I I could not believe um, um, that wow. she held the hammer like that. And she represented wow. everybody proudly, pretty much. Yeah, honestly, like, well, and, you know, I wasn't expecting the end because I'm not really familiar-ish kind of with the Thor like that. But I wasn't expecting Love to actually be the little girl. Not for her, you know? I, I thought that was so cute and different. Yeah. different. yeah, it was too bad that Nellie Portman's character... She'll be back. Like, I, yeah, I think she'll be <laughs> back, too. But it was just... The multiverse. Her essence is everywhere, right? She's with the gods, kind of. Isn't she? Oh, yeah. I think she's with the gods, I think. Yeah, no, she is. So Valhalla or something like that. I, I don't know what it is called, but... She she will be back, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, you know when when it comes to Marvel, you can always expect really really crazy unexpected things that happen, like Black Widow, for example. She'll be back, Di <laughs> and I I think I think she'll be back too. But like her her yeah. dying to get in the Infinity Stone, I I was thinking when I first watched that I was super surprised and I actually was I think that I was at a movie theater with my brother and one of my um cousins that younger cousins and I just gosh and from Hawaii and I'm just thinking gosh I wish that didn't happen and it was I know me too I was like my heart but you know the other side of me was like, okay, Doctor Strange, you said there's only like blah, blah, blah outcomes. Okay, but you do have Scarlet Witch. You're telling me she could possess a whole entire town and Miss Wanda couldn't have used her magic to do anything else? I mean, she's literally harnessing dark magic. <laughs> How could she not be able to do something? So I'm just gonna say that little plot hole makes me go, hmm. Mm -hmm. And then in the Spider-Man, you know, the Lupin, like, I'm, I'm excited to see what happens with that. Because at the end, you know, you have um, that guy with the universe. And I'm like, I'll see where that goes, too. The little end. Yeah. Part. Yeah. And honestly, I have to be very honest. But I, I think that there probably was more than one possibility of how end game could have gone where right, the Captain Avengers... Marvel. Right, 